Hello, my pals, this is Holly. You can follow me on Roblox at Quake Unicorn. Let's play this game. Hey, guys, I'm so glad you were able to make it to my grandma's house. Is grandma happy? She looks a bit angry, but she's saying it's a pleasure to meet you all. It's really nice to meet you too, Granny. Thanks for having us. Jerry says, we just finished getting everything set up for my birthday party. I just need to finish cooking a few things, but feel free to make yourself at home. I have been looking forward to Jerry's birthday party like literally all week and I'm so glad that all of you were able to come as well and I've never been to his granny's house before so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Looks like there's a few other people who have arrived for the party. Let's head inside. Jerry's like, so guys, what do you think? Oh my gosh, your granny's got a cat. <gasps> this looks amazing. I love your kitty. Gundy says it's very colorful. Love it. Jerry's like, thanks, feel free to look around. I just have to go grab something. All right, I guess I'll have a look around. Oh, wow, Granny's in the kitchen cooking up something delicious. Maybe she's made a birthday cake. Let me know in the comment section what kind of cake you hope she's making. I am hoping for carrot and walnut with cream cheese icing, but I might have a piece of toast in the meantime. Well, I wonder if I can put on my party hat. <gasps> Whoa, that was weird. I think I just found a medical kit inside the refrigerator. Pretty weird place to keep that, Granny. But who knows? Maybe that will come in handy later. Love these party hats, but I wish I could put them on. Hmm, what's this? It says, touch. Maybe I will. Oh, guys, look what I found. It's a, it's a trunk with a shiny lock on it. I'm like, what is it? I don't know, it's a trunk with a shiny lock on it. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Not sure, maybe it's a gift. Could be a gift. If it's a gift, then why is it locked instead of being wrapped? That is a good question. <gasps> We have to be quiet before they hear us. Wait, who? Who are we worried about hearing us? Jerry's like, is everything okay? No, no. Oh, uh, yes. Great party. I mean, it is a pretty good party, uh, I think. Jerry says, okay, well, Grandma just finished making us some of her famous burgers and cookies. Sounds delicious. All right, let's go eat then. I want to get those burgers while they're hot. Oh, and then cookies hot out of the oven. <laughs> this cat looks angry. <laughs> okay, let's head to the kitchen. Wow, I'm ready. Ready for my burgers. Oh, no, everybody else is at the everybody else is at the table. Oh, I guess I can sit here though. Wow, this is amazing. This is one of the most delicious burgers I've eaten in ages. My friend Gandy here is like, I know, right? It's very delicious. Wow, I hope I have room for cookies. Do feel a, bit, a little bit left out sitting over here on the window seat, but I guess I'm keeping Granny company. Granny's like, aw, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Granny, I'm ready for a cookie. Uh-oh. Strong Unicorn says, I don't feel so good. Jerry's like, oh gosh, are you okay? We don't want people to be sick at Jerry's birthday party. Oh dear, are you allergic to anything? I'm allergic to peanuts. Get, I guess I got it confused for chocolate chips. Wow, did you happen to bring anything for emergencies? This is so dangerous. Okay, luckily Strong Unicorn has something in her bag. I mean, allergies are like serious business. Quick, let's find the bag. We gotta find her bag before she has like an allergic reaction and her and her throat closes and it might be difficult to breathe. Okay, we need to find her bag and it should have an EpiPen in it. And then that should be able to reverse reverse the allergic reaction. But we gotta find it quickly. Oh man, why did, where did you put your bag? Why would you, where would you put it? I, I couldn't be that couldn't be the medical kit that I already found in the refrigerator, could it? I mean, I've got it here. Do you think this would help? Maybe there's an EpiPen in here. Nobody's paying attention to me. <laughs> Granny! <gasps> oh, Granny says, Oh dear, I will call 911 and have them come get you. Don't worry, I will contact your parents as well. Oh man, Jerry's like, I really hope you get better. This is not what Jerry wanted for his birthday. I'm like, we will miss you. Granny says, well, before we get the party started, I'm gonna run to the store to gather some treats for the sleepover so we don't have another allergic reaction. I mean, I guess that sounds good. I really feel like we should have, you know, checked on the whole allergy situation beforehand. Uh, but while you're at the shop, we'll clean up. Don't worry about a thing. Um, and I guess we'll see you when you get back. Granny's like, thank you, you're all so kind. Just try to be a good guest because you still look pretty angry. All right, see you later. Oh, we gotta clean up all of the garbage and decorations. Out of my way, kitty, I'm doing speed cleaning. If you're not sure what to get Jerry for his birthday, you could get him some Robux. You could use star code Cutincorn. I think Jerry would love that. Cannot believe it's only 45 seconds until Granny gets back from the shop. She must be like absolutely sprinting down the road. She's like out of breath trying to get there. Um, okay, I'll clean up these papers. 
What else have we got? Oh, do the dishes. That would be polite. I wonder when I'm gonna get some of those cookies. Okay, we'll clean up these. Don't know if Granny's gonna be happy that I'm running all over the counter. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it looks pretty nice and clean in here now. Did just notice though, did you see that there is a lock on one of the bedroom doors? That seems a little bit suspicious to me. Hmm, I wonder what Granny's got behind that door. And what's inside of that trunk? I don't know, there's a few mysteries in this house. Jerry's like, nice job guys, thanks for helping me clean up. Grandma will be so happy when she gets back. Anyway, we wait, we should watch some TV while we wait for Granny. Yeah, that sounds great. What's on TV? Jerry, since it's your birthday, I think that you get to pick what we watch. He's like, okay, let's go. Um, where's the TV in your house? Is it? Oh, it's just over here. Well, it looks like there's lots of room for everybody on the couch. And that is an old TV. <laughs> oh my golly gosh goodness. That aquarium looks so amazing and full of wacky events. I wish I could go in there. Hi, my name is Susan. Of course you can go into the aquarium. It's completely free. Did somebody say free? Completely free. You can feed fishes, find secrets, see amazing creatures, and so much more. Holy cow, that sounds amazing. I can't imagine there'd be anything threatening to kill me in there. Right? Whoa, that looks spooky. Aquarium story? I wonder if that's a real game I could play. Hmm, might have to investigate. Jerry says, yeah, I agree. Gandhi says, well, it's starting to get pretty late. Do you think we should head to bed? Wait, why are we heading to bed? Jerry says we can if we want to, but I thought we were waiting for Granny to get back from the story with some snacks. Oh, but I say yes, let's do it. I thought this was a party, why are we going to sleep? Well, I mean, I guess maybe it's a sleepover party. But should we at least wait for Jerry's grandma to get home? I mean, she should be home pretty soon. We should be fine. Hmm, I don't know, this seems a little bit weird to me. I thought she was going to be home in like 45 seconds. And now, there's spooky music playing, so I guess I'll run upstairs. Well, what is that? Looks like it's gonna lead to some sort of ship. Or maybe, maybe like a bank vault? Hmm, don't know about that, but I guess I should come upstairs. Well, Jerry, your room looks so cool. Oh wow, look at all these bunk beds. This is great. This is like a sleepover paradise. And there's a xylophone? Jerry's like, well, if you guys want, we can just hang out a bit longer in here, which sounds super fun. I wanna see all of Jerry's really fun stuff. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a toy box. Ooh, that's cool. A little pinwheel. Oh, I got a basketball. Oh my gosh, you've got a basketball hoop in your room. I have never seen that before in my entire life. Wow. And giant Lego? This is amazing. Jerry, why have you never invited us over to your granny's house before? She's got like the perfect sleepover room. This is so much fun. I feel like there's probably not even anything super scary that's gonna happen, right? Nothing scary is gonna happen, is it? Jerry's like, okay guys, I'm getting pretty tired. What about you? I mean, we have been playing for like 45 seconds, so I guess I'm exhausted. Yeah, same here. Did, did grandma ever come home? I'm not sure, we we're playing so much, we probably didn't hear her. I mean, you'd think she'd come say hi. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Jerry says, it's okay though, she'll be fine. She has her alarm set, so if it goes off, we'll know there's trouble. Well, that makes me feel safer. I don't know if it makes me feel safer. <laughs> what if the alarm goes off? What do we do? There's no adults here. If the alarm goes off, I kind of feel like all I'll be able to do is scream. So if the alarm goes off, I'll just scream. Or maybe I'll see if my piggy corn backpack can help. Oh, looks like I'm going to sleep. Hmm. Wow, what's that noise? It's creepy music. <gasps> uh, guys? Did you hear that? Hear what? Hear what? That sounded like broken glass. I... <gasps> there! That's it! That... There it was again! Um, Jerry's like, what's going on? Is everything okay? Um, Jerry, there's some loud noises coming from downstairs, I think, and it sounds like maybe someone is breaking the windows. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Jerry's like, I'm sure it's just Grandma coming back. What? Through the window. Granny just, like, breaks the kitchen window and climbs in. Yeah, I think we should maybe go check. Maybe she, maybe she needs help. Jerry's like, okay, let's go. I mean, I feel a little bit nervous about going downstairs, but I guess if we go together, then it probably should be fine. Well, I don't know if anybody else is coming. I'm gonna follow Jerry. Jerry, don't worry, I'm right behind you. Okay. 
Is there something strange down here? Jerry's like, see guys, there's nothing to worry about. Let's just go upstairs and go to bed. What about this locked door? Um, guys, I think grandma may be sleepwalking. Um, what do you mean? Why do you think she's sleepwalking? What do you mean? Look at the stairs. She's coming down. Okay, looking at the stairs and oh my gosh. Ooh, we should probably hide. I heard it's bad to wake people up while they're sleepwalking. Um, I don't know. Okay, hide while Granny is sleepwalking. Don't wake her up. Um, she's kind of walking around with that um, rolling pin in a bit of a th threatening manner. Oh, maybe I can hide here. Oh, wow. This is a great spot. Jerry's like, don't worry. I'm just going to help her back to bed. Are you sure? Jerry, what if we disturb... <gasps> oh, my gosh. Run while Grandma chases you. Wait, oh my gosh, Grandma's hitting people with the rolling pin. <gasps> oh, okay, um, I feel like we should probably try to get away from her, but where can I hide? Um, okay, I'll just hide back here. She'll never know I'm behind the chair. Oh, that music is really scary, and Granny's chasing people. Oh no, does she know I'm back here? Uh, ah, no, <laughs> she found my hiding spot. <laughs> Where do I go? Oh my gosh, maybe I can hide in the fridge. Okay, no, I'll just hide, hide behind this bench for now. Just behind the kitchen bench. She can't see me, can she? Unless she can see my unicorn horn just sticking over the top of the kitchen bench. It's okay. I think she's going in that room. Wait, did she go in here? Oh my gosh, no! Oh no, I'm in the laundry room! What just happened? What on earth just happened? I don't know, but that was terrifying. I don't know if that was sleepwalking. I have never seen that happen before. Jerry's like, I've never seen her do that ever in my entire life. Do you think she went back to her room? Do you think we're safe? And what were what was that like breaking glass before? Do you think maybe she was like smashing windows? Or I don't know. <gasps> oh look, I can use this medical kit and try to heal myself. How does this work? Okay, here's the question though. What if she does this again? I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight. Maybe we should try to place things on her door just in case she tries to do it again. Jerry's like, I know my grandma has some wooden planks downstairs. I just can't remember where. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to go and find them. We'll find the wooden planks, we will barricade Granny's door, we will shut her in her room, and then if there's any more sleepwalking, we should be safe. Hopefully. Okay, I guess I better follow Jerry. Hmm. Oh, I found a plank! Oh, amazing. Okay, which room is Granny's? Just look up here. Is, is that Granny's room? Okay, this is our room, so I guess the other room must be Granny's room. What if I barricaded us inside? Would that be better? <laughs> what do you guys think? Any thoughts? Wait, am I eating a cookie? This is not a time for cookies. We need to grab the planks and we need to place them on Granny's door. Oh, or take some pickies to remember this super fun birthday. I wonder if Jerry is having a good time. <laughs> oh, okay, I've got this plank. Jerry, do you want to show me where to put it? I'm not quite sure which room is Granny's room. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's this one. Oh, there we go. All right, got plank number one. I'm gonna find some more planks. Did anyone else find any more planks? Granny seemed pretty strong with that rolling pin, so I don't know. I kind of feel like we should try to find as many planks as we can. <gasps> I found another one. I swear that wasn't there before. It's all right. Take this bad boy upstairs. Pop it on the door. Um, not to um, brag or anything, but I've done two planks so far. It'd be nice if everybody else could pull their weight. Hmm, any more planks appeared in the kitchen? Okay, can't find any planks here. Buds, we gotta find another plank. Jerry, you should be helping us. This is your granny who's become like murderous and scary all of a sudden. This is not what I expected when I came for the birthday. Oh, nice, somebody else got a plank. Did you know that you can buy my unicorn hats? They're available in Roblox, they're super cute. Um, and as an added bonus, um, some people say that they protect you against um, killer grannies, which is a nice bonus in addition to looking cute. All right, let's get organized here. Can't find any more planks. I'm still really curious about that locked trunk and that locked door. I feel like there's something else going on in this house that we don't know about. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I am spooked. Jerry's like, I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt or scared. 
Ugh, Jerry, you can't blame yourself. It's okay. Maybe we can find a way to get out and escape. How, though? Well, maybe we could climb out a window? Oh, or maybe we could just walk out the front door. Um, that's a great idea. How did I not think of that? Um, okay, so let's walk out the front door. Wait. Well, we can't quite do that, says Jerry. Why on earth not? My grandma turns on the house alarm every night. Hmm, well, don't you know the code to turn it off? Jerry, please tell me you know the code. <gasps> no, she doesn't tell anyone the code. Uh, well, what should we do? What should we do then? <gasps> what about the black box? Yeah, what about it? What about the black box? What do we think that's gonna do? What if we can find the key that opens it and see what's inside? Uh, maybe there's another key in there that will open the basement. <gasps> yeah, maybe, who knows? Could be, there could be another exit that won't turn the alarm on. That could possibly work, says Jerry. I feel like we're making a lot of assumptions here, but that's what we're going with. So now all we gotta do is find the key. But where? Where could it be? <gasps> um, uh, what was that? Uh, that sounded like breaking glass. We don't think that that was granny. Oh no, Jerry's like, I think my grandma woke up again. Okay, what do we do now? Do, do you think she's angry? Or do you think that was like a happy smash? <gasps> <gasps> oh no, guys, what do we do? Oh, I'm scared. My grandma's gonna be so mad at me. Okay, but she did like kind of hit your friends. She will be fine. Don't worry about her. Yeah, we're safer this way anyways. I think we need to protect ourselves, you know? I don't want to get hit in the head with a rolling pin. Oh no, Jerry, I'm just gonna open her door. No, Jerry, stop! Don't, don't open the door. All right, me and the pals are just gonna hang out on top of this wardrobe. Do you think we're safe up here? Don't worry guys, just hide in case something happens. Okay, be careful, Jerry. I'm worried about this. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Jerry, are you sure? Oh, wow, he's going for it. Um, Granny looks angry. Oh, no! Oh my gosh, Granny's got Jerry! What just happened? Oh, I don't know, but should we go try to open the door again? I don't want to open the door again. No, don't do it! Granny's got Jerry. Uh, but I guess we do have to see if Jerry's okay. Uh, let's just go, guys. Come on. Okay, what do I do? Do we leave or do we check on Jerry? Uh, I don't think we can leave our friend. Wait, guys, the room is empty. How is that even possible? We literally saw Grandma take him into the room. Wow, this is not good. How could this happen? Something very strange is happening in this house. Gandhi's like, I did not sign up for this. I want to get out of here. You know what, Gandhi? I agree. Hmm, maybe, hey, oh my gosh, guys, I found a key. Oh my gosh, I found a key. Maybe it's the key for the black box. Well, we did see two locks downstairs. There was the lock on the black box, and then there was also the lock on the door. Okay, we gotta make it quick. We still don't know what's going on. Like, where's Granny? Where's Jerry? What happened to Jerry? Well, at least we've got this key, though. Okay, everyone be real quiet. Come with me. Okay, let's try putting this key. <gasps> it opened. Oh my gosh, I knew it, a key. Oh my gosh, we've got another key. A key to a key. Okay. Let's see if it's for the basement door. Everyone be quiet though. We don't want Granny to hear us. Oh, okay, I guess everybody's not here. I guess it's up to me now. Okay, I'm gonna try the basement door. But what if Granny's down there? <gasps> Ooh, looks creepy. Let's just get out of here already. Mm, I don't know, is the basement really the best way to get out? What if, what if, so what if the alarm goes off? Maybe, maybe the alarm goes off it. Oh, whoa. Oh no, it's Jerry! Help me untie him! <gasps> Jerry, what happened to you? Where's, where's Granny? Are you okay? What happened? <gasps> what is this place? Very, very creepy. Jerry's like, I'm fine, everything happened so quick. I don't even remember what happened. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Hey, so have you 
ever been down here before in this creepy basement? Trey's like, no, Grandma usually leaves this locked away. How did you even open the door? Well, it's funny you ask, actually. I found a key to the black box in Granny's room, and then there was another key, and then here we are. But Jerry's like, is Grandma still around? Well, I don't know. We haven't seen her. Have you seen her? Jerry, I think you were the last person to see her. Hmm. Well, let's just try to escape before she finds us. I don't know if this is a good idea anymore. What, the birthday party, the sleepover, the escape? What exactly do you not think is a good idea? Yeah. You saw what she's done so far. Why would you want to stay? Not to mention, um, even you were wanting to leave, so maybe we should just leave. Jerry's like, well, I don't know, we already made her mad. I just feel like I keep messing it up. It was my fault. She attacked us when she was sleepwalking. Then I helped y'all get the wooden plants to planks to lock up her door? I don't know, I just don't want anything else to happen. Jerry, you can't blame yourself. I just don't think leaving is a good good idea. What? What am I saying? No, I think leaving is a very good idea. Let's leave. Let's leave right now. Hey, I think I just saw another locked door. Okay, it's time to choose if we're gonna stay or go. What does everyone else think? Let me know in the comment section what you would pick. I have um, decided to pick stay because I like this game and I'm not quite ready for it to be over yet. <laughs> so I wanna see what happens. I don't know what everybody else is going to choose, so maybe we'll end up going anyway. But, let me know in the comment section. What would you choose? <laughs> My friend here just like running on the spot. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's stay. Wow, okay, it looks like we're going to stay. <laughs> My pal's like, but I'm scared. Guys, I promise nothing bad will happen. Uh, Jerry, I don't think that that's a promise you can make, actually. He's like, she's probably sleeping, so we can just go right to bed. Okay, let's go back upstairs then. But I have a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting a whole lot of sleep tonight. I'm actually terrified of- Oh my gosh, what? Whoa. Guys, you need to come up here. What has happened? Oh my gosh, oh, it's Granny! Ah! Okay, she's doing very scary laughs. And there's eyeballs all over the wall. Granny, you good? Thank you, Jerry. <gasps> I knew I could count on you. Jerry, they fell for my trap. And now it's time for the ritual. Not the ritual, ritual. Jerry, how could you do this? I bought you a present. I bought you Robux and I made my best cake. My best carrot cake. <gasps> oh, jeez. Granny is levitating. Jerry can't hear you. I put him under a spell. I control what he says. That's why it was so easy for me to trick you into coming back up here. You can't escape that easy. I knew this was a bad idea. Well, I've been kind of going back and forth about what I think, but that's fine. Well, what do we do now? Hmm, maybe we could try to escape a different way? Um, good luck trying. Everything is blocked off. Okay. The only way to escape is by the front door, which has a secret code that only I know. Oh, wow. She's really, really got an evil laugh on her. What if we challenge you to try to receive the code? Hmm? Can you resist a challenge? You're not afraid of a challenge, are you? Granny's like, I suppose I could do that. Well, I think that would be for the best. Ah, uh, yes. I have a fun little game you can play. I mean, she says it's gonna be fun, but I don't know if it's gonna be real fun. Hmm, she's like, Jerry, why don't you explain to them what it is? Ha 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 Jerry, what's the game? Jerry, tell us. Jerry, tell us the game. As you can probably tell by now, Grandma has an obsession with keys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Retrieve all five keys and place them in their slots. Oh my gosh, I love this game. A paper with the code will appear somewhere hidden in the room. And then that's, that's the key to escape? Once you find the paper, you can press the code in the alarm system and you will be free. <gasps> oh my gosh, maybe it's the big door that looks like it leads to the ship. Is that really the front door? Oh my gosh, I've already found a key. Okay, Granny, you just keep laughing. I have found a key. Oh, she's like, good luck. 
I just gotta wait until the game starts so I can get this key. Okay, where'd you go? Yeah, okay, I've got key number one. Hey, wait a second, where are all my pals? Is that another key? I think I've got two keys already. Okay. It feels a little bit too easy to find these keys. I'm almost worried about it. Hmm. Okay. Green is good. Does that mean the door is going to open? Oh my gosh, what if I actually escaped? <gasps> oh, i got to find the hidden paper. Okay, it's got to be here somewhere. Hmm. I wonder if I'm ever going to find out why there's eyeballs on the wall. Don't love how these eyeballs keep looking at me. Little bit creepy. And these creepy trees. Ooh, and spiders. Where is everybody else? I had... Oh, 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 I think I found the paper! I found the paper! Guys, I found the paper! Oh my gosh, I think we can actually escape this thing. Except, um, where is everyone? Grandma's like, well, I guess you did defeat the task, so you may leave. Why are you laughing? Why is she laughing? Good luck out there. Says Jerry. Why? What's out there? Um, I don't know about this. Okay, I'm just gonna put the key in, put the code in, and then we can get out of here. Oh, whatever's outside, it can't be worse than Granny and Jerry, can it? Okay, here I go. Do, 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 into the unknown. Am I good? Oh, it's creepy out here. Wow. Um, where are we? This doesn't look like... This doesn't look the same as it was. I have no idea. It's like Granny's backyard has become. Oh, the door is closed. Um, what do we do now? Why am I stuck in the backyard? And where is everybody? I'm just talking to myself. I'm like, I have no idea. And then, what do I say next? Wait a second. Why is the earth shaking? I think it's an earthquake. What was that? I say to myself because this whole experience has made me talk to myself. I don't know what we did to get ourselves into this. Hello? Is anyone in there? Um, why does it say I got the bad ending? I escaped. I mean, I did have to experience an earthquake, but I don't know. I think I did good.